and welcome to a brand new video where today we are currently sailing the seas on the Rotterdam cruise ship and I'm about to take you guys on a tour of the ship. And it's quite incredible that these huge sculptures are actually on board ship. For instance, this one spans three floors of levels three, four and five. So this is the dining room. This is one of the more formal and grand places to eat on board ship. It actually spans two levels and it is positioned at the very back of the ship so you get some incredible and scenic views when you're eating your food. And obviously the views would be a lot better than they are today because today is a very, very foggy day out there. I just made it onto the bow of the ship, so this is the direction that we're going in, avoiding the iceberg. And then if we go out this way, this is deck eight, and there's actually this like really big open area which has two hot tubs, and also there's a bar. That's the tutor tooting right now, and they also make some amazing pizzas out here. But this place would be absolutely rammed with people when it's actually sunny. The hot tubs are obviously still working in this cold, cold weather, but there's also hot tubs and a swimming pool inside. What is going on in my hair right now? And when the weather is like it is today, most people want to spend their time indoors, so this area becomes quite popular. It's very bright and open, but enclosed, which has a swimming pool and two more hot tubs, and also a ping pong table, two ping pong tables actually, and also another bar. Ready for a game, Holly? So me and Holly tend to have at least one or two games, normally after breakfast, every day. Yeah! And now we're actually on the very top of the boat. So right below us right now is where the swimming pool is inside. And you can actually walk all the way around the top of the boat, which is really cool to get some really nice scenic views and stuff. And then we can also walk up above Holly. So this is the sky deck. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe we won't go up here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And I should probably explain as well, actually, that that horn, which I, for some reason, call the tutor, goes off pretty much every two minutes because it is so foggy today. It's for like safety reasons, obviously. You can see in here, we've actually got a basketball court and a football court, which is for all your sporting needs. But today is not exactly the best day to play sports because it's very windy and very, very cold. <laughs> what do you think of that? So crazy. <laughs> so crazy. Never seen anything like it. Look how crazy this is. There's a tiny little village at the base of this mountain. So there are nine decks which are open to the public, but there are also three decks below that which are for the crew, the staff, and also the engine rooms. Me and Holly have also been given special access and permission to go behind the scenes and take a look at all of the machinery and engines on board the Rotterdam cruise ship. Here you can see the overview of the engines. Oh, okay. We split the five engines in, in, in actually two systems. Mm -hmm. We have the one, two, three sides, yeah. and we have the four and five sides. Okay. So basically what happened, we're running two engines. Always one engine on the one, two, three side, and always one engine oh, on the four okay. and five side. But if something maybe happened with probably the, the fuel mm -hmm. for the one, two, three side, uh, no engines of this side can run but we still have, still have to. the other force on the other side mm -hmm. so it's like a kind of insurance. We have all around the engine room we have the cameras yeah. we receive fire alarm mm -hmm. for one of the engines the camera will directly switch to that part oh, okay. and we can directly see what's happening what's going on. Mm -hmm. Always we have somebody downstairs, but it's quite big. From here you have also kind of overview. The engine rooms are super loud, so we must wear some ear protection. And this is just one of the five engines on board ship, and I had no idea how big these engines actually were until I was stood next to them. These things are huge. These are watertight doors, so if there is a flood, there are areas that are still protected. Also, it's 
kind of smelly here. That's because uh, those tanks, tank number three, you see here, that is for our uh, sewage system. We basically treat it here. We filter it. After filtering, we can pump it overboard when we are uh, more than 12 miles outside of the coast. We are now all the way at the back of the ship. Behind here there is water. Uh, this are the stern thrusters. And this is just only for maneuvering. So that we can move the back of the ship 90 degrees off or through the dock. So the ship is about to take a 90 degree turn and go down this tiny little gap right there. There are obviously so many different machines and generators and engines on board this ship to basically keep it all running for the 2,000 people which are on board and it was just mad to walk around and see it all. A lot of it we didn't really understand how it worked but it was still amazing to see everything in action. So all the engines are water cooled so they pump in seawater which is then filtered right here into these engines and that water goes around the engines to keep the engines cool. We can make from seawater, we make fresh water. We can drink or shower or whatever. The water, what's cooling down the engine, creating condensate. And the condensate, that is actually the water what we make. We dose it with chlorination and minerals so that we can drink it. This chart is drawing pH oh, yeah. of the water. It works automatically actually. Yeah. You see all those plastic pipes that yeah, supplies the water to all the decks. And this is the water line for deck one. Deck two. What an incredible experience we had going behind the scenes and having a tour of the engine rooms of this cruise ship and just seeing how everything works. So this is one of the many walkways which goes into different people's rooms and if you're wondering there are almost 1500 guests on board ship at this moment in time and almost 600 staff and crew members. So this is the quieter section of the cruise ship where people like to sit and read and play board games and stuff. There's also a giant puzzle over there and also a coffee bar so we better not disturb them too much. So in here, as you can tell, this is a cinema, which is kind of crazy that this is on board ship. And the other evening, me and Holly watched Ready Player One, which was amazing. And then behind these curtains, there's actually a kitchen, which is for America's Test Kitchen. So you can actually watch demonstrations from chefs cooking meals, and you can actually learn it by sitting in this audience and watching the professionals at work. There is still obviously so much more on board ship to explore. For instance, this is the main stage which has entertainment throughout the day. And every evening they have an amazing performance act from singers to comedians. So when you're on board ship, you know that it's really, really big, but you don't actually really realize how big it actually is until it's parked up next to the buildings and you can actually see how it just towers above them. And there we have it. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this little insight and behind the scenes look of the Rotterdam cruise ship. What an awesome experience we have had on board this ship. And why don't you comment down below right now, if you could sell anywhere in the world, where would you like to go and visit on board this cruise ship? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big fat thumbs up. And if you've never followed us before, you can always hit that subscribe button and follow us on our awesome travel adventure. And until next time, I don't know where we're going to end up, but we'll see you soon. Goodbye! Thank you.